Now Thursday, home opener for the Mariners. And guess who's in Peoria right now for spring training? Our very own meteorologist, Brian McMillan. Brian, what a fun week. What's going on this morning? It's been so much fun. We went to the game last night. Mariners uh, scored 17 runs. It was 17 to 6. It felt like a football score. <laughs> but it was a great time out in Goodyear. Uh, the Mariners back home tonight here in Peoria. And we've had just such an awesome time. We're right now in the Mariners training facility. And this is where uh, also the administrative offices are as well. And I want to bring in Robert Scheidinger. Uh, did I say it right? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> you are the senior director of High what? Performance. High performance, yes, because we need high performance here as the guys get ready for their season. I know uh, just, you know, walking back there, the emphasis that you guys place on getting these guys uh, comfortable and ready and recovered and all of that. Uh, talk about uh, what, what your job encompasses. Sure, absolutely. So high performance is really health and performance. And my department's goal is to make sure that all our players and our staff really have everything they need to perform out on the field. And in order to do that, they need to be healthy. You know, health and performance are really intertwined. And so all the folks in my department really work really hard to, to prepare our players and make sure that they have what they need to be healthy and performing at their best. And that's not just the physical stuff, but that's also the mental stuff as well. And this is uh, kind of newer to uh, the organization as well. Can you talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. So we've had a ton of support from our leadership in building out a mental health services program that's just as robust as physical health. Because to us at the Mariners, our players and staff's mental health is equally as important as their physical health. And so what we've done is built a network of resources and educational materials for our players and staff so that they have what they need to make sure that their mental health is at its peak. And, and you were saying the guys are using this, right? Like this is this is not just something you have and nobody's using it, but guys are using this. Yeah, they've always really had a good understanding. Andy McKay and his team have built out like a really great mental skills program to help with the mental performance aspect on the field. And what we've done over the past couple of years with the support of our leadership is build out a mental health program to, to really intertwine in the same way physical health needs you know, to help with physical performance, right. mental health needs to help with mental performance. And so, yeah, the guys have really bought in and, and uh, it's, been a, it's been something that I think has helped not only the players, but the staff as well in our organization. We were talking a little bit before we went on about this team. This team, you, you've noticed, is a bit special. And, and, and why is that? Well, I think when we set out to build this team over the past few years, um, not only did we look to put together a really great group of players, but also a great culture. And I think that it was identified by our leadership what was going to create that great experience, both for our players and for the staff. And then, and we set out to find people that fit that mold. And you can, you can really feel that in the clubhouse, on the field, uh, really anywhere in, inside this organization. You can feel it in the stands too. I mean, you, you're watching the players, they're having fun. They got each other's back, you can tell, and you want to root for a team like that. Yeah, yeah. it's really exciting. It is. It's really fun. As far as the physical uh, part goes, uh, getting these guys to, to get warmed up for the season here, obviously you don't want anybody injured. That's you know worst case scenario. Uh, how do you prepare them and take care of them so that doesn't happen, so they're ready to go here unless than a week. Yeah, health and performance at the Mariners, it's a multidisciplinary approach. And so we have a great group of athletic trainers, physical therapists, strength and conditioning coaches. We have a PhD sports scientist, biomechanist, nutritionist. <laughs> I mean, I could go on and on. And those folks, the, the difference between the Mariners and a lot of other places is those folks work together. You know, there's no silos within our organization. We communicate really well, not only amongst each other, but with our players. And we put the players first and really make them a part of that process. And I think that really gives us an edge in ensuring that we have what they need to feel good and play good. Rob, thanks so much. Good My luck pleasure. tonight Thank here. You so much. And uh, we'll see you back in Seattle here Sounds in less good. than a week. Thanks all right. So much. Hey, guys, coming up here in our next hit, we have an awesome one-on-one uh, -on -one sit down with a legendary Mariners broadcaster, Rick Riz. You're going to want to stick around for that story. That's in just a few minutes. Back to you.